All right, hey, what's up, everyone? Um, I got something done tonight, though. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say now, I did not have a very good day as far as working on this stuff. Um, I I uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I I just had all sorts of mishaps with the the decals that I set. I was working on the Naboo fighter earlier, and those decals just you know just didn't cut it earlier so um, I think I'm gonna print those again and start uh, start again from scratch but what I did do and there have been some problems along the way but I did start working on this again now you'll see the distinct uh, difference here uh, in the way these uh, the the engine caps here look as a uh, you know opposed to this but I have to say, well, I mean, it's just, I haven't weathered this part yet. I just painted these today, and I just threw on some decals right now. Uh, primarily, this is going to be the most noticeable right here. This is the Dantooine Black Eye Squadron. Uh, and these little details right here. This is a decal that I set. And, uh, you know, I'll be the first one to admit that a lot of my technique happens to be uh, just guesswork and uh, I didn't measure I didn't do anything but I just made these little stripes here uh, and they just happen to fit perfectly right there so that's where they stay and uh, I have to say did I already mention I think I like this one more than the other one I still have a lot more work to do I still have to get the wires and the lights set in there but this is a shot of the bottom uh, and right here as you, you'll see um, I still have these uh, these doors open and I think pretty much I think I'm gonna end up just closing these off again and uh, going with the uh, the alternative that I did for the other A-wing actually let me show you right now and put that one down and uh, forgive me I'm kinda I'm moving into uh, the house again with this stuff, so uh, expect to be uh, to see a lot more junk in this room. This is a uh, this is the room where I keep one of my computers. Uh, that's the computer right there, with a messy desk and a messy little chair right here with all of my junk. But excuse me, God, it's kind of messing up. This is what I did for the the A wing. Uh, since I closed up these these panels right here. Excuse me. Since I closed up these panels here on this one, uh, the landing gear was pretty much a moot point. So what I've done is uh, the landing gear is now on there again. Ooh. What was that? Something rattling in there. It's probably a battery that I have loose. But let me just show you right here. See if I can get that to land. Whoa! And the table is off balance. So as you can see the landing gear is, is uh, it, it holds it up and these are completely removable and what I did was I just kinda saw it, I dremeled them off and I put magnets there you can find a better magnet than that but that's just all I found Where does that go? Uh, when I was looking around so they just you know you just take them off and they pop right back on they spin around a lot but you know that's not big that's not a big issue so when you're ready to take your a wing around the house pew pew pewing um, you just pop them off like that and you fly around the house and chase the cats and uh, there you have it so I think that's gonna be the solution for this other a wing until I find another solution but um that's what I'm going to do with this one. And I'm at the four minute mark here, so I still have some time to show you what I've been doing on the B wing. And let me move. Whoa, almost knocked over the other A wing. Hey, the interprets. Alright, those are going to sit there because I'm going to roll over here and show you what I've been working on with the B wing now. The B-Wing, I guess, I'm still not feeling it on the paint job. It's gray and white on the bottom. And it's... 
not grabbing me. This is the same, essentially the same blue that's on the A-wing right now, on the second A-wing. And I'm thinking of changing that. I was thinking of going with a burgundy, but then that's the dagger squadron. I don't want to do that. Uh, so I'll have to come up with another color for this. But, again, this is the original cast of the uh, B-wing, so that meant that it had no interior detail. Now what I've done is, I have essentially... Get this one out of here. Now what I've done is I've essentially just broken into another model kit that I have in the garage and it's for the Maquis. It's a Star Trek Maquis uh, ship from Voyager. I, you know, I, I don't know. I never watched the show. I'm not that... I am a Trekkie. But none of the, any of that next generation bullshit is out the window with me. So uh, It's Captain Kirk or nothing at all anyway. So... I just kind of took this piece and just glued it right there, and that kind of is a, I don't know, a radar of some sort, but I kind of have an empty spot right here. I cut up some other pieces and made a dash. I don't know if I can get any details of that, but here we go with the back wall. I'm still going to add some more in here, but I've also added some details back there that, once painted, I think will match up pretty nicely. I also as promised. What I've been using for big round radar dishes and buttons are these little things. And these are self-adhesive rhinestones. Uh, here's the brand. Uh, this is Reflections. Rhinestone stickers. Uh, faux diamonds. So these are just like little jewels. I haven't used any of these but I have been using these which are just these are excuse me, so I can, class appeal stickers. Uh, stampin, oh, stapendus, okay, that's what it says right there. But these are essentially little, again, little self-adhesive little labels that have a nice little shine and a gold ring on them. So those make nice little buttons and those make nice little display, uh, display radars and um, colorful buttons that you can push. Anyway, so that's what's going to go into the B-Wing uh, along with the Greeblies and that's what I've got now. Um, I don't have the Naboo fighter with me but it's out in the garage. I almost threw it against the wall when the decals failed so glad I didn't do that this time. So anyway, I guess I'll see y'all later. Happy modeling, happy, f Ooh, excuse me, uh, have fun with your toys and I'll see y'all later. Y'all have fun. Peace out.